Good afternoon, this is James Hopp from the Shopsmith Repair Woodworking Academy. And today I want to talk to you about the latest version of the two bearing quill that Shopsmith has come out with. We had a previous video that showed the problems with two bearing quills bending. And I discussed why the single bearing quill is a better option if you're doing a lot of heavy turning or out of balance turn. Anyway, since then, Shopsmith has come out with a, another version, I guess you'd call it an updated version of the two bearing quill. All right, I want to show you this version, a newest version of the two bearing quill. As you can see, the front bearing is bigger and the back bearing is smaller and they both can be removed or replaced if need be. Compared to the last version of the two bearing quill, you'll see that they had a pin that prevented the back bearing from being replaced. This is the intermediate uh, version of two bearing quill. And you can see that this one is bent too. The original single bearing quill they just didn't bend. They're manufactured better. So if you would like to go back to a single bearing quill, which Shopsmith no longer carries, you can see my stock up here. I have a large stock of used quills and I can put one together for you and send it out along with a new driving ring and you'll be good to go. I'll either install it for you in your machine or I can send you the parts and you can put them in your machine. With a little help, I give you some instruction and you should be able to do it, no problem. Thank you so much. This is uh, again, James from Shopsmith Repair Woodworking Academy. I hope that you'll be more informed about the single bearing quill versus the new two bearing quill. Uh, and if you do any type of lathe turning, it would be good to go back to a single bearing quill because they just don't bend. I had a person send in a greening machine that's back back of fifties, you know, and recently, and he said he never had problem doing all the lathe turning until he got him a new headstock, one of these um, Power Pros. And uh, right away he bent the quill or the quill got bent when he was doing lathe work. You either have to be really, really, really good at getting your, your balance and your speed correct before uh, you start running the machine. Thank you for watching. I hope that my expertise in this video will help you have the best experience from your shopsmith.